creating healthy boundaries. It took me a while, years, to figure this one out. But when I did, it was the best thing ever. I didn't see myself in the equation at all. And when I came up to Dublin after my divorce, I was in a really bad way within myself and everybody wanted things off me. And sure, I had nothing to give, but I kept on trying, I kept on trying. Now, I used to do this. When somebody would ask me to do something, say, for instance, you know, can you collect my kids and take them for the evening? Or can you drop me to the airport? Or, and I'd be going, 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 doing for everybody else. I used to, I, and I'd say, yes, yes, because I would be caught on the hop. And so I developed one-liners. I used to say, I'll get back to you. I just have to look at my diary. I just have to check that I'll get back to you. And it kind of gave me room to think. And then even I'd pop into the loo or I'd come home that evening and I'd just sit down with me and a child and I'd say, do you want to do that? Do you, can you do that? Do you want to do that? And oftentimes my inner child would be like, oh no, I can't. I have to get my own kids and I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to do the other. And I'd say, okay, then we won't. And then my inner child would say, oh, but I have to. Oh my God, how's she going to manage? How's she going to cope if I don't do that? And I'd go back in and I'd say, no, 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 we're not doing that. Oh, but, and I'd feel terrible if I couldn't oblige somebody. But that's the old habit. That's the old pattern. And that takes a while to create the new pattern. So then I'd say, no, my darling, no, my darling, I'm looking after you first. And then I'd say to the person, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And then sometimes, sometimes, especially at the beginning, those people wouldn't actually like me saying, no, I can't, no, I can't. And it would cause a little bit of a, but I'd have to be true to myself. Now, none of that happens anymore. I practiced it and practiced it until I put in healthy boundaries and some friends went away because I wasn't suiting their agenda. And I made new ones too. And now I have lovely healthy boundaries and I don't even have to do that anymore. I don't even have to do that anymore. So practice that now a little bit within yourself. Give one liners, let me get back to you. Then sit with yourself, do I really want to do this? And if the answer is no, then say we're not doing it. But then your inner child will kick off because of the fear. You have to suit her or him. And then you have to be true to that and say, no, I can't, or whatever it is. And feel that awful feeling inside you that you're in your child having a fit. But create the new boundaries bit by bit. And the more you practice it, the better you get at it. Trust me on this one.